Hey, what's going on, you beautiful people? My name's Tadai. I hope you guys had a pretty awesome day today. My day's been pretty awesome so far. I just got about halfway done recording this video, and I just got a random phone call and decided to answer it in the middle of the video anyways. And what happened was is some lady just pretty much questioned me about how well I take care of my skin for like five minutes. She said she was from Sweden, and then I could hear people in the background like repeating everything I said and giggling. I have no idea why I did that. Usually I hang up like 90% of the time, but I kind of just wanted to see what would happen, and that was was probably one of the weirdest phone calls of my life. Anyways, with that out of the way, uh, what you guys are watching right now is a new speed art of a blade transistor thing from the game Transistor. This was a lot of fun to make because like I said in a couple of my other videos, a lot of my speed arts actually take like 10 plus hours to make. This one only took about three, so it was a quick super fun one, made it all pretty much in the past two days, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. There was some very interesting parts in doing so though because I don't know how many of you guys have played the game Transistor. It's an absolutely fantastic game. I would recommend it to anyone who's ever wanted to play it. If you have a PlayStation or a PS4, pick it up. I might do a giveaway of it soon on Twitter, but I'm not exactly sure when I'll do it. It's just one of those games where I want as many people to play it as possible. It was super, super fun. Anyways, within the game, everything is hand-painted. So one of the problems here was I didn't want to do a hand-painted version because, quite frankly, my tablet's not working. I'm not the best at hand-painting. I don't know exactly what I'm doing in that field. So I wanted to find a way to make this non-hand-painted and still look good. So that was one of the challenges. And another one is I was looking at so many different reference images, even like official ones and non-official ones, and there's so many different alterations between all the images, and I'm like, okay, none of these are very consistent, so I also had to come up with a way to sort of make my own version that matched everything else, so I'm kind of making the in-game model here, because obviously the model is still 3D, but it's just hand-painted, and uh, I kept it pretty low resolution. I was actually able to keep it at only 901 faces, and the texture quality was only uh, 1024 by 1024, which is pretty cool. I was able to keep it super low. I'm very happy with the result at the very end you'll be able to see a full uh, rendered out version at the very end of the video so the programs I'm using as usual is Maya for the modeling and the UVs and substance painter for the texturing I also rendered it in substance painter and uh, it's perfectly ready to be exported go into the unreal engine or unity or anything like that so I had a lot of fun doing this it was super super cool and I just finished fiending this game right like it was about a six hour campaign super super fun and uh, one of the best things about this game in my opinion other than the crazy art style was the soundtrack. I absolutely loved this soundtrack. It was probably one of the best soundtracks I've heard in a game for a very, very long time. So what I thought I'd do for this video is include music from the soundtrack as the uh, the filler audio when I'm done talking here. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys are going to like it. I absolutely loved it, like I said. So if you guys want to put on some different music, feel free to do so. I thought it was amazing. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Also, speaking of audio, I, I really want to hear if you guys can notice a difference in my microphone quality or a difference in my microphone quality rather because I randomly went out yesterday and got three monitors well just two more now I have three set up and because of so I had to reposition my microphone and I was just testing it out in this new position and I feel like it sounds a lot better now so I don't know if you guys have noticed anything uh, hopefully it sounds a lot better also a side note is when I went out to go get those two more monitors I bought the wrong cable so now in front of me I have one working monitor and two monitors that aren't even plugged in anyways guys I think that about does it for my part here if you guys enjoyed this video a like goes a long way Comment Comment any questions you might have. I love reading those and subscribe if you're new here. But once again, guys, my name has been Tide. I hopefully you enjoy the rest of this video and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.
No. 